This book is called Dear Dragon, written by Josh Funk, illustrated by Rodolfo Montalvo. Hello students, our poetry and pen pal project this year are combined. Upon your desks, you'll see the pen pals that you've been assigned. Please make sure the letters that you write are all in rhyme. Now open up your envelopes because it's pen pal time. September 12th, Dear Blaze Dragomir, we haven't met each other and I don't know what to say. I really don't like writing, but I'll do it anyway. Yesterday, my dad and I designed a giant fort. I like playing catch, soccer. What's your favorite sport? Sincerely, George Slayer. October 1st. Dear George Slayer, I also don't like writing, but I'll try it, I suppose. A fort is like a castle, right? I love attacking those. My favorite sport is skydiving. I jump near Falker Peak. Tomorrow is my birthday, but my party is next week. Sincerely, Blaze Dragomir. October 31st. Dear Blaze Dragomir, you know how to skydive. That's awesome as it gets. My dog destroyed my fort last night. Do you have any pets? Happy birthday, by the way. I don't have mine till June. I'm trick-or-treating as a knight. We're heading out real soon. George Slayer. November 14th. Dear George Slayer, nights are super scary. I don't like the trick-or-treat. Brushing teeth is such a pain. I rarely eat a sweet. My pet's a bendo kitten and tonight she needs a bath. What's your favorite class in school? I'm really into math. Blaze Dragomir. December 16th, dear Blaze D, my favorite class is art. I made a mold of my left hand. Next, we'll craft mosaics using pebbles, stones, and sand. Yesterday, I won a prize in this year's science fair. My towering volcano blasted lava everywhere. George S. January 18th, dear George S, my father's won our local fire breathing contest twice. He still retains the record of melting 50 cubes of ice. Do you have any hobbies? I enjoy collecting rocks. I keep them in a secret place inside a precious box. Blaze D. February 22nd. Blaze, fire breathing. Hmm, what's your father's job? My folks are teachers. I collect exotic monsters, animals, and creatures. Oh, guess what? I heard the news this morning from Miss Sweet. A pen pal's picnic's planned for June. At least we'll get to meet George. March 15th, George. Dad's in demolition. He works hard throughout the day. But every night we read a book or pick a game to play. Soon he's gonna take me flying and once it's really spring, it's such a rush to ride the air that flows from wing to wing, boys. April 11th, hi Blaze, skydiving and flying lessons while your parents rock. I'm lucky if my father lets me bike around the block. Once the school year's over and this project is complete, should we continue riding? Cause it could be kind of neat. Your friend, George. May 12th, hey George, I'm psyched about the picnic and I can't wait to attend. Who'd have thought this pen pal thing would make a new friend? Writing more sounds awesome. I was gonna ask you too. I've never liked to write as much as when I write to you. Your friend, Blaze. And here is the pen pal picnic. Do you think that they knew that the kids were talking to dragons? Look at the expressions on their faces. Do they look surprised? Do the dragons look surprised? Blaze, George. My pen pal is a dragon. My pen pal is a human. 
and they're giving each other high fives. Our plan was a success, my friend, or so it would appear. The Poetry and Pen Pal Project once again next year. I love that book. Wasn't that neat? They became friends writing letters, and even though they were completely different, a human and a dragon, they found out they had so much in common and became friends. Um, this is really fun, and I hope that it encourages you guys to write letters to family members and friends, especially now while you're home, maybe write some letters um, and send them out.